What's lost when we see the world as just being purely transactional? I mean, I want to be so bold as to say what's lost is God. Uh, this is idolatry. This is taking what God has made and distorting it into something that it is not, which is mechanistic, mechanical, transactional, all these sort of things. So it's, it's a false world. It's a, it's a new creation that is born of sin, <laughs> just, to be a, just to be bold with it in theological terms. Um, but yeah, it's false, it's idolatrous. When we look through the eyes of faith at people, we should see what we ideally see when we see God at some level, and that is mystery, something that is bigger than I could ever encapsulate into one nice, neat little package or portrait or role or function, right? People are glorious mysteries that, even under themselves, we don't fully know ourselves, right? Um, there's this sort of graceful excess in God's world. There's always more. Uh, it's, a, it's a place of flourishing and abundance when it's operating the way it's designed to operate. And so humans are always, like creation, just full of potential. And it would mean that when we approach each other, um, we would be looking for that excess, we'd be looking for that potential, for that, that abundance that is constantly being shoved down and, and restrained by a world that wants so badly just to put us all in boxes. We've developed these so that we don't actually have to know each other. Um, and I think we create contexts and communities of work where they're by design, they're, they're made so that we don't have to know each other. Because if we did, it would be messy. We'd be vulnerable together. So we, we, we work in cubicles and we, uh, we engage with one another on very carefully guarded rules about when we're going to be together and who we're going to be with and, and all of that because we're protecting ourselves and each other from actually having to be what God made us to be, to be whole people. Yeah.